Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. Today we are going to learn a very small topic and that is how to encrypt and decrypt credentials. Okay. Um, in Java script in general, you can use the same for TypeScript as well and it's applicable for your player test, LM test or web driver Cypress, whatever you use. Okay, so same concept. Okay. Yeah. Um, so why we need this? First thing like if you have your some credentials uh, let's say that username or the password for your database or maybe for your backend application or even sometimes we have this credit card info right so in, if you want to do some smoke test in the product in the prod environment uh, definitely we should have the original uh, credit card not the dummy credit card right so we cannot test with the dummy credit card we need the actual uh, credit card so if you are going to write that in your script uh probably if something goes wrong your credit card information or your credentials may go outside right so to prevent that we use this encryption and decryption technique it's going to be very simple actually only just two lines of code and that too i'm not going to write i just wanted to show you this small uh not small it's a huge actually chat G gpt which is from open ai which is getting really famous nowadays so i just got access and i tried this for like a couple of days and it's really cool actually so i'm going to show you just a glimpse of it how you can use it as well okay so once you go and sign up i will just leave the link in the description from there you can go and sign up once you get your account you can just uh, check this one okay so here we have a text box you can type like what you are going to do for example if i say like encryption and decryption in javascript and if i enter it's going to give us all the uh, things related to the encryption and de decryption as well as it's going to give us the code okay so this is like your combination of your google and the stack overflow which is really cool so here you can see like we got some uh, introduction like encryption is the process of encoding information so that blah 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 you can read it yourself so one of the common approach is used to use crypto.js which is correct we are going to use the same and it has some several thing and we are going to use something like aes okay so using the aes algorithm and the secret so what is aes uh, let's go and ask this one so what is aes so it's like advanced encryption standard is widely uh, something something okay so you got the idea right so what is this and how to use it okay it's going to be very simple so let me just uh, show you how to use this in our playwright test script okay and it's typing a lot of things which we don't need actually thanks chat gpt yeah so here is the code i just can just copy to code and let me open a new file so control shift p Put your kyoka and here i'm going to paste the code okay so first thing of course we need the um uh crypto js which actually missed by this one so it says like we have we should have the crypto js but it didn't give us the dependency so we are going to add that manually let's go to the node package manager and here we have this let's click to copy go to your vs code bring your control j the terminal and you have to just paste it so it will do the installation of the crypto dash js dependency okay then what we have to say we of course we have to say their request so here i'll say like crypto js equal to require and it's going to come from the crypto dash js okay so here you can see like we have a uh two things actually so one is this like one First of all, we have to do the encryption. For example, let's say that this is going to be my username as um, maybe like Kaushik, and then we have to pass some secret key which we should hide. I will tell you how to hide this. And this one is going to give me the encrypted value. And then again, I can use that to decrypt. Okay, so for example, I can just say like whatever it's the result, and then if I pass the same same secret key and if i convert that into a string you can see like we got this like uh, decrypted message is also kaushik in case if my secret key is wrong then of course i won't get anything so that is the encryption and decryption how it works okay i hope you got the idea 
now let me give an example how to use this in our test script okay so for example uh, let's take this uh, test test dot only and here you can select we have the username and the password okay so first of all we are going to encrypt the username and password so let's go to the username here which is ottoni i'm going to in this and for now my secret key is going to be like something like pass one two three dollar um, yeah so this is going to be my secret key and to do the decryption as well i have to use the same thing right yeah then only i'll get okay cool so this is going to be my secret password we'll store that in somewhere okay so what i have to do is first of all i have to get the encrypted value let's log this one okay so encrypted dot two string which will give us in the string format so i can just uh copy this one which is not coming here let me go and okay let me save this file so i'll just save this for your reference uh, this is like crypto dot js file okay now let's go and run this so node and then followed by crypto dot js so here we can see like we got this value let me copy this one this is the encrypted for this particular uh thing called attorney the username okay so i'm going to replace with this similarly i have to encrypt my password so i'm going to copy this one and let's go here and paste let's go to our terminal and run this one more time and here i'm getting something like this let me copy this and replace with my password the actual test data okay that's it very cool now we can close this one similarly you can encrypt whatever the file you need for example your credit card info your username password db access something which you need to encrypt okay that's it we are pretty much done now we have to decrypt uh wherever we are going to use this right so to do to decrypt i of course i need this guy let me copy this and go to my test case so what i'm going to do is here i'm going to select like, let me remove this all this thing okay Yeah, for first thing first, we will have to add the crypto JS in our test script. So I'm just going to copy this require statement and I'm going to paste here somewhere on top of your class. Okay. Now what we are going to do is here instead of this data dot username, right? Actually, I can create a uh, function over this. For example, I can just select these two lines and I can say like uh, out of function. Okay, so I will say like get decrypted value something like this okay and get into the function uh this value we are going to like this is going to be my data actual test data so let me receive this as a string okay so and here the secret key we have to remove so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say like process dot env dot secret underscore key okay so this is going to be my like of course we should not have the secret key within our script it should be passed from your terminal okay so now what we are going to do is here first of all we'll say like uh we can just copy this function and call it here okay and similarly here i can say like data dot password okay that's it we are pretty much done and what it's there yeah we forgot to return so what we'll do we'll just simply say like instead of storing this i can say like return this one okay so we are just doing the decrypt okay so this is the ace is the that we discuss and this is the decrypt function which will get the actual test data and the secret key if secret key is wrong of course it's not going to work okay and then what is this very simple right so here we have this get decrypted value of username and the password okay similarly you use you can use the function for each and every encrypted value okay now how to run this is very simple so here uh, let me close this one we don't need that so if you go to your utils the test data folder login user so here you can see like we don't have the actual value we have some random value even someone got who do not have access to our repository or our code still they will not under know how to decrypt until they know your secret key okay so let me go to my playwright.config file and here i'm going to run only this login user dot test dot ts file okay and then if i go to my control j terminal so here if you remember 
this process dot environment dot secret key is our actual actual uh, key where we have to set the value right so here i will say like uh, what was i used pass one two three then followed by the dollar i guess dollar or hash trick yeah it's a dollar so let me give the secret key okay so that is how uh, sorry not here on yeah here it should be dollar okay then whatever the syntax you use right so npm uh run test i guess so if i give this and it says like one two three not found okay it's very commonly you will get what you have to do is very simple just you have to uh come on okay let me give it one more time and then followed by you have to enclose the key within single quotes so here i will say like pass then followed by two three and the dollar and then followed by npm um run test okay now that's it it's cool so basically we have to pass the secret key from your from a terminal if an if you are using like your uh, github actions or maybe like your uh, so here you can see the login worked right because we have passed our uh, secret key correctly so if i just pass like let's say that random hacker got your access and he do not know about the password still if i try to run this then of course login will get failed eventually because the credential is wrong here okay so here you can see username and password is empty empty okay so that's a very cool technique uh, it's really useful and yeah that's it that's it pretty much for this video um, so let me give you a quick recap so first of all you have to go to your package.json file and you install the crypto js and then go to your um, test data file encrypt your test data with a secret key and store it in your json file in your test file or wherever you want okay and then go to your test file you can create a function like this or you can move this file to your fixture or maybe your common uh, actions and then you use the decrypt function you get the value convert it to string and utf8 in the sense like it will convert to some ascii code and just return the value use the value and before running the test make sure you are going to give your secret key in your terminal or else it won't work okay so that's it for this video if you have any doubt feel free to ask me in the comments i'll be happy to reply and thanks to chat gpt for giving us this quick snippet and this is really cool actually probably i will come up with few other videos how to use it especially in our testing test automation okay so yeah that's it Tada, bye -bye. Take care. so foggy but i've never seen clearer i don't really think anyone can save me and honestly i'm not really sure i want saving i like to be my own worst enemy there's no risk if you don't try it anything so i'ma just get by in everything see you in the next life have to be a better me i don't think that my head's on straight gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray what's wrong with me i just feel way pushing on my chest and it squeeze till i suffocate better change my mindset meditate it's pretty cool that i'm alive and have better days i could walk see here i should celebrate think i could change my mind maybe elevate